The estimated age of the universe is around 13.8 billion years. Elements like carbon and oxygen were forged in the fiery cores of stars and then scattered across space when those stars exploded. This means we are quite literally made of stardust. Space is generally considered silent because it lacks a medium like air to carry sound waves. You wouldn't hear any sounds from a movie playing in space unless you were inside a spacecraft with its own atmosphere. Our observable universe is vast, with an estimated 2 trillion galaxies scattered across its expanse. Even more astonishing is the idea that the actual number could be much higher due to the limitations of our current telescopes and technology. While we can't see it, Dark matter makes up about 27% of the universe's total mass and energy. It exerts gravitational force, affecting the motion of galaxies and galaxy clusters. The sun constantly releases a stream of charged particles called the solar wind, shaping the tails of comets as they point away from the sun due to its influence. Venus has an incredibly slow rotation, taking about 243 Earth days to complete one rotation on its axis, while its orbit around the sun only takes 225 Earth days. Light travels incredibly fast at approximately 186,282 miles per second, allowing it to circumnavigate the Earth nearly 7.5 times in a single second. Despite this incredible speed, it still takes years for light to travel across our galaxy, the Milky Way, showcasing just how vast space is. Olympus Mons on Mars is the largest volcano in the solar system, standing about three times taller than Mount Everest, and with a diameter equivalent to the state of Arizona. Mercury experiences some of the most extreme temperature variations in our solar system, ranging from scorching daytime highs around 800 degrees Fahrenheit to freezing nighttime lows of minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Spacecraft use the gravitational pull of planets to gain speed and change their trajectory. The Voyager probes, for instance, utilized gravity assists from Jupiter and Saturn to achieve incredible speeds and explore the outer solar system. Contrary to many depictions, the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter is not densely packed with rocks. Instead, there's a lot of empty space, making it navigable for spacecraft. In the chilly depths of Uranus and Neptune, scientists believe it literally rains diamonds. The extreme pressures and temperatures cause carbon atoms to crystallize into precious gems that fall like raindrops through the dense atmospheres of these ice giants. Saturn's moon Titan, has a thick atmosphere primarily composed of nitrogen, similar to Earth's, but it's so cold that its methane and ethane lakes can remain liquid, despite the frigid temperatures. Some of Jupiter's and Saturn's moons are believed to harbor vast oceans beneath their icy surfaces. For example, Europa, a moon of Jupiter, is thought to have more than twice the amount of water found on Earth. The Hubble Space Telescope captured an image known as the Ultra Deep Field, showcasing thousands of galaxies in an area of the sky that appears utterly dark to the naked eye. When a massive star explodes as a supernova, it can briefly outshine an entire galaxy, releasing an incredible amount of energy in the process. Some planets are not bound to any star, and instead drift through space alone. Known as rogue planets, these lonely travelers may outnumber the stars in our Milky Way. In microgravity, fluids don't behave as they do on Earth. They can form bizarre shapes and move in unexpected ways, providing insights into fundamental physics. Beyond Neptune lies the Kuiper Belt, a region containing icy bodies and dwarf planets like Pluto. It's thought to be a remnant of the early solar system's building blocks. Mars experiences massive dust storms that can engulf the entire planet, lasting for weeks or even months, impacting its surface and visibility. The vast distances between stars make interstellar travel a massive challenge, as even the nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, is over four light years away. Eclipsing binary stars are pairs that orbit each other in a way that causes regular periods of mutual eclipses, allowing astronomers to measure their sizes and masses. Sunspots are temporary regions of cooler temperatures on the sun's surface caused by magnetic activity, appearing as dark spots in contrast to the surrounding areas. Some asteroids share an orbit with a larger planet, leading or trailing in its path at stable Lagrange points. Jupiter's Trojan asteroids are the most famous examples. The Roach limit is the minimum distance at which a celestial body, due to tidal forces, will disintegrate under the influence of another body's gravity. Stellar associations are loose groups of young stars formed from the same molecular cloud, while superclusters are collections of galaxy clusters spanning vast cosmic distances. Inside a black hole's event horizon, space and time become so distorted that all paths lead toward the singularity, a point of infinite density. As comets approach the sun, the solar wind and radiation pressure create tails, a dust tail and an ion tail, pointing away from the sun due to the sun's radiation. 
The Great Attractor is a gravitational anomaly in intergalactic space that influences the motion of galaxies, drawing them toward it from all directions. Binary stars orbit around a common center of mass, and they can vary from being close and interacting to widely separated. Vast T regions of space, known as cosmic voids, contain fewer galaxies and matter, creating a sponge-like structure in the large-scale distribution of galaxies. Over 14,000 years from now, the star Vega will be Earth's north star due to the precession of Earth's rotational axis. The Fermi paradox questions why, given the vast number of potentially habitable planets, we haven't yet detected any signs of extraterrestrial civilizations. Venus's thick atmosphere traps heat through a runaway greenhouse effect, making it one of the hottest planets in our solar system. In some binary star systems, planets can potentially orbit around both stars, creating complex orbital dynamics. Saturn's North Pole features a hexagonal cloud pattern, a phenomenon believed to be driven by the planet's jet streams and rotation. Stars are factories for producing elements, creating heavier ones through nuclear fusion in their cores and distributing them into space through supernova explosions. Earth's rotation causes moving objects to curve, leading to phenomena like the Coriolis effect in weather patterns and the rotation of hurricanes. The polar ice caps on Mars consist of water and carbon dioxide ice, and their sizes change with the planet's seasons. The observations behind Hubble's law led to the discovery of dark matter, which makes up a significant portion of the universe's mass. X-ray binaries are systems where a compact object, like a black hole or neutron star, accretes matter from a companion star, emitting X-rays in the process. Efforts are underway to develop technology to clean up space debris, a growing concern for the safety of satellites and future space missions. Discrepancies in the measurement of the Hubble constant, indicating the rate of the universe's expansion, have led to debates in cosmology. Ultra-cool dwarfs are the faintest and coolest types of stars, with some even classified as failed stars due to their low mass. Some areas on the moon's surface exhibit lunar swirls, mysterious patterns caused by magnetic fields interacting with the solar wind. The heliopause is the boundary where the sun's influence wanes and interstellar space begins, marked by a region called the heliosheath. As stars evolve, they can go through stages where they expand and contract, leading to the formation of planetary nebulae and other phenomena. The local bubble is a cavity in the interstellar medium that surrounds our solar system, created by the explosive deaths of massive stars. Some groups of asteroids share similar orbital characteristics, indicating that they could be remnants of a single parent body that broke apart. In addition to Charon, Pluto has four smaller moons, Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra, each with unique characteristics and origins. The cosmological principle assumes that, on large scales, the universe is homogeneous and isotropic, meaning it appears similar from any vantage point. Fast radio bursts are short, but incredibly intense bursts of radio waves originating from unknown sources deep in space, posing a puzzle to astronomers. Supergiant stars are massive and luminous, often at the end of their life cycles, and can go on to explode as supernovae. Above the sun's surface lies the chromosphere, a region of hot, thin gas that emits a reddish glow during solar eclipses. The moon's large impact basins, like the Imbrium and Serenitatis basins, were formed by ancient asteroid and comet impacts. Magnetic reconnection is a process where magnetic field lines break, reconnect, and release energy, creating phenomena like solar flares and auroras. Neutrino telescopes, like IceCube in Antarctica, detect neutrinos by observing the rare interactions they have with matter. Young stars often have circumstellar disks of gas and dust around them, out of which planets and other objects may form. Anomalies in the cosmic microwave background radiation provide hints about the universe's early conditions and potential new physics. The concept of a space elevator involves a cable extending from Earth's surface into space, allowing easy access to orbit without traditional rocket propulsion. In the early universe, supermassive stars might have existed, born from the enriched remains of first-generation stars and leading to massive black holes. The Outer Space Treaty, signed in 1967, prohibits placing nuclear weapons in space and restricts the use of the moon and other celestial bodies to peaceful purposes. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. See you in the next video!